I would definitely recommend ChatGPT as a base for someone who has no idea on how to start their code base with. Or if the code that they are writing is very complex, this can act as a very solid base to start with. It can save developers a lot of time and effort by providing code on demand. In this video, you will learn one of the most remarkable features of ChatGPT, that is the ability to generate code. With a simple prompt, you can ask ChatGPT to generate code snippets, saving you some time and effort as a developer. It can generate code in various programming languages, making it a versatile tool for developers across different domains. It can generate code in Java, JavaScript, Python, the list goes on. But it has to be noted that ChatGPT might not provide us with correct answers or code all the time. We have to verify its response and see if it fits our use case. Let's see a simple example by asking ChatGPT to generate a code snippet in Python to swap two integers. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends hoping to learn ChatGPT. Also, do let us know in the comments if you have any questions, suggestions or requests for more information and we will be happy to incorporate it in the next video. So I will be giving this prompt that says write a Python function for swapping to integers. Till the time ChatGPT gives me a response, let us rename this as swapping integers Python. Let us see the response that ChatGPT has given us. It has given us a very simple, well highlighted code on how to swap to integers. Along with that, it has also given us how to use this particular function because we have specifically mentioned that we want only a Python function for swapping to integers. It tells us how to use this using different print statements. It also tells us the output that we can get for this particular code snippet. Along with that, it has given us the explanation of the different variables that that it has used and the different functions that it has used. And also it has given us a little more explanation on what exactly the function does. Let us try to have a conversation uh, by asking ChatGPT what can be the time and space complexity of this function. So you know that ChatGPT remembers the entire history of the conversation. It is not going to ask me which function. I don't have to specifically mention that I want time complexity for swapping to integers. It has automatically assumed the context of the conversation and it tells me that the time complexity for this function is 01, which means it has a constant time complexity. So regardless of the magnitude of the number of integers or the number of times the integers are swapped, the function performs a fixed number of operations because it is only one thing that the function is doing that is swapping to integers and it has also given me the space complexity which is also the same indicating that the space complexity is also constant because it uses only one temporary variable to hold the value of one of the integers during the swapping process this is a very well explained answer for someone who has no idea about what time and space complexity of a function can be. By the way, if you want to learn about generative AI in far more depth and detail than what I'm covering here, we have a lot of courses of AI and ML from top universities in India and the world. Link is pinned in the comments. Go check it out. So while we are at it, let us try to get a code snippet in a different language. Let us ask, write a function in Java to generate random password. As you can see, it has no problem giving me a response in Java as well. Before we were working with Python and now we are working with Java. So there's a function called random password generator. Then we have a different variables for lowercase, uppercase, special characters, and then we have the main function. This is a pretty good code and I would definitely recommend this as a base for someone who has no idea on how to start their code base with or uh, if the code 
that they are writing for is very complex this can act as a very solid base to start with in conclusion chatgpt is definitely an impressive tool that can generate code snippets in various programming languages as we can see it can save developers time and effort by providing code on demand however it is important to note that the generated code may not always be correct so it's necessary to verify and evaluate its response to ensure that it fits the specific use case